Good morning traders and this is your Aussie day trade setup for today. So we have another red bar. Let me just double check it is red. We don't have nonsense data. Right, so nonsense data is very small. So we have a another red day here and yeah, this is the third red day in a row but sort of not going down, going sideways. So I can't help but wondering you know, we are at a fairly major level. Uh, we need to see some kind of a pullback. You know, all the markets are showing the same pattern. Pretty much all international markets are showing this wedge. And all of these wedges are at fairly significant Fibonacci levels. Okay. And uh, we're, not, we're not much different. Okay. So the South African market is on the 61.8 Fibonacci. Now you can argue that we closed above it and we closed on it and all sorts of things, but that's typical of the Aussie. So the point is, that is a level here. We do have a little bit of a gap or two gap to the upside, which could also interfere, well, influence us at the moment. But um, if I look at the crossovers that are happening here on the oscillators, and we're sort of on the zero line here with the stochastic MACD, uh, that indicates that we're still in a downward trend and uh, we should be looking for a, a level to bounce to the downside. Okay, so anyway, that's on the daily. Uh, let's not, you know, the trend is up at the moment. It doesn't matter that you see a wedge here. It doesn't matter that oscillators are grouping to the upside. The fact of the matter is we're in an upward trend and we should be looking to trade to the upside. There's one big change on my charts uh, for the next, for, well, probably for the next week or two, is um, I'm not looking at the 200 EMA anymore, but be looking at the 150 EMA, okay? And uh, you'll see now why. So the three hour trend is up. So we should be looking for bounces back to the moving averages and then opportunities to be long, okay? This divergence here does worry me quite a lot. Okay, so in my view, that is a potential double top. However, we need to break below 44.119 for that to be validated. Okay, so we do have a, we've got gaps to the upside, we've got gaps to the downside. We do have a little bit of a, a grouping here, but I think that was just a bit profit taking. Uh, so we're going to have to wait and see what transpires today. If we just quickly look at what's happening on the markets at the moment, we have crude oil that is down 5% right now. We have the NASDAQ futures, which is flat. Um, Rand dollar 18.79, so that's getting hammered a little bit. And 10 cent, which is 0.2 up. So looking like a fairly flat start, but um, the US markets did rally on Friday evening, although it was fairly late. I don't think it was much of a move after our after our market closed. And it moved down and then moved back up again. So I think we're probably going to have a fairly flat or, you know, take your pick, flip a coin, gap up, gap down type environment at the moment. But I think it's going to be fairly flat. With that in mind, you know, what do we want to be trading? So you can see here, trend was up. Okay, and then we had all this indecision, more indecision, sort of uh, big down, big up, big down. Okay, and then the US markets had a, another up back to here, so we're probably going to get a gap up. But for all intents and purposes, I think this is uh, currently a range, and that's how we need to be trading it. Now, if we start coming down to the levels that we are actually going to trade in this, um, in this chart, and you can see it pretty strongly on the 15 minute. This is the 150 EMA, and you can see how the 15 minute is respecting 150 EMA. Okay, so the nice thing about this is if price is above the 150 EMA, and you can see here the break and a retest of the 150 EMA, um, it is a trend, it's trading to the upside. And even if it does break below the 150 EMA, uh, you want to see a retest and fail. So same kind of thing as the setup here. So that would validate your shorts. Until that happens, you're looking for longs. And you're looking for longs on the pullbacks. You can see there's another break. 
a retest of it at a rally. I just want to look for a retest. Here you can see the break. Retest. Another retest. Another retest. Okay, this bar here is a nonsense bar. And we dropped. Okay, so anyway, enough of that. That's the only reason um, I like to do my back testing on the weekends and figure out what's going on so that if I need to make adjustments, I can. And that's the one adjustment we've made. Okay, so if we just come to the five minutes, I'll just show you a little bit more in this environment here. You can see um, sort of the gap up, never trace the longs for the gap up. And you can see we had a massive move to the downside. Uh, didn't quite test the level, but um, apart from the Fibonacci level, I think it was. Yeah, the 50% Fibonacci. So, you know, the 50% Fibonacci, 61.8 is always something that you need to pay attention to when you've got moves like this. And you can see, gave you entry ready for the long. Okay, got price action here. We've got oscillators grouped to the upside and slowly start drifting to the downside. And you can see how the 150 comes into play even on the five minutes, bouncing off it, bouncing off it, bouncing off it, bouncing off it. Okay, so what are we looking at today? So first things first is 12 or 15 minute chart is what we're looking for. Um, Let's just go with the 15 right now. There is the fractal level break above moving averages. And there is the fractal level break below the moving averages. Okay, so a break below 45196 will more than likely give us a move to the downside. Okay, and possibly picking up these levels to start with. Let's just make sure that we've got one. Okay, there's only one there. There's, there's the other one. Okay, so what I'm looking for is the one hour fractals here, because those are going to be my levels. And the last one is going to be gap close or bottom of range. Okay, so quite simple. Break below 45196 trigger shorts for me. And uh, I'll be looking to take profits at 44968, um, 44722, and the last profit area will be 44386. If we do break below this area of support here, I'd want to see a bit of a retest on that to validate this double top uh, range break. And that would give me a much bigger move um, in the region of 1,500 points to the downside. Okay, so that is kind of my plan of action today. Remember, the trend is currently up, so we should be looking for longs. And even looking at 15 minutes, we're above the 150 EMA, which is indicating the trend is up. So you're looking for opportunities to get long. So even if we get down here to close this gap, more likely a good opportunity to get back in long, uh, chase along back the upside. Okay. Um, we're going to be driven by what happens in the US today. We're also going to be driven by what happens in Europe at the moment. So there are countries that are opening up their economies, and there are countries that um, have got some pretty good plans in place, and there are others that uh, don't have a very good plan in place. So I think you know, the volatility is going to continue, and you want to be capitalizing on the moves with the trend that you're in. And the current trend is up. Until that trend breaks on a higher time frame, the overall trend is up. So you're not looking to short this thing, you're looking to be long. And it just allows you a little bit more confidence that you are on the right direction of this. Okay, but just be warned, we are at some major levels, major Fibonacci levels. We've got some fairly uh, tired looking patterns as well on the higher time frame. So you just need to keep that in the back of your mind. Okay, anyway guys, the, that's it for me today. So the first trade of the day will more than likely be um, sort of a break of 45529. Um, and to be honest with you, I think I would just basically target the, the highs of Friday and then watch what happens up there. If you start getting any price action like this or like this, look for the short good 250 point stop loss 
and uh, at least come back and close if there is a gap today and then you're looking for a break below 45196 if you get that break then i'd start taking some off at the different levels below okay um, so that's kind of my view at the moment uh, trade the range we get the top short it we get the bottom go long on it um, and then today just based on what price action we see at the open and it'll be a short move to the upside and then obviously probably uh, a gentle move back to the downside to drift lower to the bottom of the range and there are two ranges bear that in mind we have a bigger range over the week and then we've got the daily range delete that delete that and delete that so there's our bigger range and you can see we're at the 50 percent of the range so this top half is the other half of the range okay so you've got this range to trade and if you break below this range you're trading short to the bottom of the bigger range Anyway, guys, that's it for me today. I hope it helps, and uh, we'll catch you later. Cheers for now.